Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. So today's look is an updated foundation routine pretty much. It is a little bit more of a touch of glam because in my past one I didn't do um, eyelashes, but I show you how to bump up your everyday look into something a little bit more extravagant, depending on your taste. So if you want to know how to get this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Bye guys. Quick, before, before we get this going, only one who will sometimes look at like do you ever look at yourself and be like holy shit I think I need some makeup today because that happened to me today it's happened to me quite a bit I feel like it's I don't know what it is okay whatever let's just go ahead and get started I've already um oh I'll do my eyes first so let's do my eyes I'm tripping so this is pretty much all that I use on my eyes I'm plain Jane sometimes when I'm lazy so what I'm gonna do is just take one eyeshadow soft brown by MAC Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. I'm gonna grab a blending brush. And I've already primed my eyes and cleaned up my eyebrows a bit before filming this. Let's see, this is, that's it for my eyes, that's it. Um, But it's funny because whenever I do this look, this is when I get asked the most at work, like, oh my God, hello. What is it that you have on your eyes? It looks so pretty. And I'm like, I just have soft brown. Hey, whatever works, right? For my mascara, I'm gonna mix two together. I'm gonna do the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara first. And then for my second coat, I'm gonna go ahead and take Tarte's Light Camera Lashes Mascara. And at first I wasn't too fond of it, but mascaras have this thing where I don't like how it goes on at first, like when the thing is new, but like a month into it or so, I'll really like how it starts to work. I don't know. It's, I don't know if that's just me. Does that happen to you guys? Let me know. I didn't notice it until a friend told me. She was like, this is an old mascara, so I don't want to um, get a new one. She'll mix an old one and a new one together, so it starts to work better. And then I kind of got superstitious with her and I started like thinking the same way. Kind of weird. Taking my favorite primer, this is Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and it is um, oil free, so you don't gotta worry about it clogging your pores or nothing. And it's very silky. You only want to put a little bit because if you put too much, it might start to work against what it's trying to do, which is of course keeping your makeup on long. I'm gonna take two foundations. The first one I'm gonna take is Max Face and Body. So my skin, um, just for reference, is more of um, normal oily combination. In the winter, maybe it'll get a little bit more dry, but since I'm always like moisturizing the living crap out of it, I don't ever find it to be a problem. So I'm taking just a smidge of that about this much and it's very very liquidy so you want to work really really quick and I'm just using this as a base for shade reference in case you're render, run, rendering in case you're wondering this is um, face and body in the shade C3 now I'm going to take L'Oreal's true match foundation and this is in the shade W6 if I'm using this foundation by itself then I'll mix the W5 and the W6 together I'll do like 70% of the color W5 and then 30% which will be like around the outside. I'll do um, W6, but I'm gonna just use W6 right now And then also the brush that I'm using is by Morphe and this is the brush S94 It's a nice just flat top kabuki brush. So it I look crazy like this. Let me just blend this out first. So it's good for buffing the foundation into the skin without worrying too much about streaking lines or anything. I'm all, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm a fool. So now that we've got foundation down, what I'm going to go in with next is my favorite concealer. This is Max Pearl Hour Concealer, and I'm using the shade NC25. What I like to do, I'll grab about less than a pump of it because I don't let it go completely down. I'll put it on my ring finger, rub the two in together, and then I'll just pat it right underneath the eye like a crazy person. And then with whatever I have left on my two ring fingers, then I'll put a little bit on the forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and then on my chin. And then I'll just kind of swoop it. Grab a little bit of Fix Plus and then just spray that on your beauty blender. 
we're coming together and then you're good just leave it like that i think that looks sexy don't you no okay blend it out so the reason that i don't when i take the concealer the reason why i don't take it all the way in here is because when i'm blending it out i kind of bring it up the next powder that i'm going to take is by airspun and i just recently picked this one up again i used to have it when i first started doing makeup like five years ago and then i finished it and i never bought it again i don't know why because it works really really good should we knock it it's new this is what happens when you use new things give me just a second a good amount so i'm gonna take about this much of the powder and we're just gonna go ahead and set anywhere where you put the lighter color just go ahead and set that my bronzer varies all the time i'm either using select sheer press powder in the shade nc55 or if i'm traveling and i just want something quick i'll use this color from the anastasia contour kit but right for right now since i want more of a golden look I'm going to use the Select Sheer Press Powder. And I'm using Morphe's brush in M310. It's just like a nice little flan, flan. It's a flan brush. No, it's a fan brush. And just getting that right in the contours of the cheek. And then taking a little bit on the forehead too. Just to balance everything out too, I'll do a little bit on the nose. But just a pinch. Taking Max Refined Golden Powder, which is an oldie but a goodie always with my 129 brush, just something more fluffy. And I'm gonna go in on the outside and then fade it in, almost like as if I were gonna use it as a blush. And then just go ham with your bronzer. Just go with it. Next thing you wanna do is just add a little bit of blush. If you wanna do something pink, do something pink. If you want something peach, do a peach. I don't know how to describe the color that I use all the time. It's called Margin. I'm looking at it, it's more of a goldy has more of a goldy feel to it and it has a lot of shimmer in it but I love it so that's what we're gonna use and there's never too much blush unless you're using like a hot pink then tone it down girl so I like to um, take Mac soft and gentle powder again a classic you can't go wrong with it so it's just a beautiful champagne kind of color kind of feel and I grab it with another fan brush. This one is by Sonia Kashik. And I get it right on the high points of my cheeks. Get it on the bridge of the nose. And then on the cupid's bow a bit. This is emphasize, 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 and accentuate. Those are the two colors that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to mix the two together because this one's too light to use by itself. And then this one is just too meh to use by itself because it kind of just blends out. So I'm going to just mix the two colors in together, and then this is going to go right underneath the eyes. So I put a lot of stuff underneath my eyes, now that I think about it. you If you always feel like your concealer is creasing, you're not setting it enough. That's what's happening. Concealers are always going to crease regardless if you're buying a concealer that's more of a matte finish, or if it's more dewy, hence more hydrating. They're all going to crease because we all have lines underneath our eyes. So if you're setting it with the powder, what you're doing is you're almost... It, you're setting it. It's like a top coat. It's going to prevent creasing. Of course, if you're rubbing your eyes on the inside, it's going to start to look faded, but you're not going to have creased concealer. For underneath my eyes, I always make sure that I do something waterproof because then this is why I set so much right here is because this part of my skin always gets dewy and always gets shiny and my mascara will always touch my skin and start to leave little raccoon eyes and I'm not about it. I'm not about that life. Now for my lips, since this is an everyday look, of course, I'm going to do something that's a little bit more on the softer side. I'm going to take Max Nice and Spicy Lip Pencil and using this to outline my lips. I'm gonna start to get back in my groove of making videos again and I know that I've said it many many times before but I'm really really gonna try this time so if there's anything else that you guys want to see please let me know in the comment section down below and I hope to hear from you guys soon